A stunning turn in the investigation into a report of a package explosion at Northeastern University. Our I-team has learned that police are now investigating whether this was a hoax. The FBI and Boston police have been pouring over evidence all day long. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Tonight, our I-team sources say they're focusing on a note that was left behind. Police say a 45-year-old campus employee was handling a package in Holmes Hall last night when he said it detonated. Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendak has been breaking news on this story since last night. Cheryl joins us live in studio now. And Cheryl, what is the latest from your sources? Well, Lisa, sources tell the I-team investigators are questioning the employee's minor injury, the answers he gave to detectives, and the language in the note left behind. Clues leading them to believe that the incident may have been staged. It was a massive show of force by law enforcement responding to a report of an explosion at Northeastern University's Holmes Hall Tuesday night. But sources tell the I-team within hours, police became suspicious. First questioning that the 45-year-old man's injuries did not appear to be from an explosion. I-team sources say the hard suitcase or Pelican case that the employee says he opened did not have any traces of gunpowder or explosives. And his statement to police was riddled with inconsistencies. More clues of a possible hoax came from the note found in the case and first reported by the I team. Sources say the language used suggested it was written by someone with intimate knowledge of the immersive technology lab. The threatening manifesto was addressed to the manager, demanding it stop working on artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and the metaverse. Critical of Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, the anti technology typewritten note note had a number of typos and misspellings. The writer said it would destroy the labs and mentioned bombs. So far, no arrests in this case. The investigation is being led by the Joint Terrorism Task Force. We are told it is fluid and ongoing. David. All right, Cheryl, great work on this story. Well, tonight